G'day folks, it's DIY Guy123 here bringing you another do-it-yourself video. This video is about a toilet that's been installed for 20 years and it gradually stopped being able to flush. It would clog with, I kind of joke, it will clog if you just pee. <laughs> anyway, um, this video is going to talk to you all about how to do this easy fix. Won't cost you anything. You'll need basic tools, screwdriver, drill bit, a brush, steel brush is helpful, some rubber gloves, and a couple of uh, liquid containers. So look, let's get this straight. Toilets are gross. Everything about them is gross. Old toilets are, are the older they get, the more they're, they're gross. But even a brand new toilet, I'd still argue is gross, even when it's in the package. So let's get that out of the way. If you're squeamish and don't want to talk about toilets, move on to the next video. So the symptom is this toilet, um, it uh, used to flush well and now it does go down but it just doesn't go down with any force and it clogs super easy part of the problem is that if you have hard water you can have like mineral build up from from the water but this is where it's going to get kind of gross too much information but anyway that's the reality and so because of that uh, the product that's in urine whatever it's not just a liquid there are solids in urine and uh, minerals and so on uh, that will adhere to the bottom of the bowl and even if you clean this bowl once a week it's cleaned every week or maybe twice a week they still build up along the bottom and now what I did before making this video is for, you know, I always just clean the whole toilet first. And then, um, but even that, the buildup was, was so thick along the bottom of the toilet that it had to be, I tried using a wire brush just to, to brush it off. I even tried CLR because it dissolves calcium and lime. It did nothing. Um, it didn't do anything. So what I had to do is I chipped it out along the bottom. Now, of course, I didn't use a hammer on this. I just used my hand and just kind of slid it along the porcelain uh, or china bowl and I would flake the stuff off. So what are we going to do? That is not, cleaning the bottom is not alone what's going to cause us to flush. What we need to do now is talk about how the toilet operates. Well, there's water in the tank and when you flush the tank, there are jets all along the bottom here. I'll see if I can get the camera in here to take a look. probably dirty and anyway there are those jets now a lot of people think if your toilet swirls one way it must be you're in the northern hemisphere and uh, they think that if you're in the southern hemisphere the toilet's going to spin the other way when it flushes that's like completely ridiculous what causes the toilet to spin is the angle of those jets so if you flush and your toilet spins one way you can see the water shooting out at an angle well that's good to build up the level of the tank and once the level of the tank gets so high, it overcomes the trap that's back there. The water level will start to go down and water and everything else will flush. But this particular toilet also has a jet right in there. Right there. Now, um, let's flush that. And I'll show you, like the water level does come up, swirls around, and it's going down. But I can assure you that that was not an effective flush. So what we're going to do is we're going to empty the water out of here. And so you're going to do this a few times. So I'm getting to the stage where this old plastic container really can't get much more. Now I'll inject my pop bottle in, or whatever bottle it up and transfer the liquid I don't advise reusing these containers for anything else after you're done right in their cycle bin please now that you get the water out of there I had to take a screwdriver and chisel away that buildup and it was only right at the very bottom but I've chiseled that away 
and then I went over it with a wire brush to kind of clean it a little bit better. Now you might see some discoloration, like this is all white, but down there is kind of like a gray, browny or dark gray color. That's because this wire brush has scratched the porcelain. Those that color will be there forever, but it's an improvement over what was there. So now gets now we get to the. Uh, interesting part there's the jet you can see right I know it's the lighting isn't the best but this drill bit which is a half inch drill bit will not even go through there and it should so what I'm gonna do is take the drill bit and put it kind of down in position and I bet you I'm gonna grind out a whole bunch of those mineral depositing things yeah, and with the rubber glove I checked, I could not fit even my small pinky finger in this hole. So you're just trying to grind that out of there. Yes, it's gross, whatever. Now this deposit stuff is hard from a, like a plastic brush perspective, but it doesn't really resist the drill bit. Yeah, there's still a lot more there I can feel. Okay, folks, so I went at it quite a while with a drill bit. I'd stick the drill bit in, and of course I'd have to stick it down like it was going to be flushed, and then through the little portal and go back and forth for a while. And I also needed the help of a screwdriver. This is a Phillips screwdriver, but a flat screwdriver, a standard screwdriver would be even better. But now there's no problem at all getting, I'll just show you, you know, I can, I can get my finger in there and wiggle it around. It's just like powder. So the first flush is not going to be very exciting because the bowl is filling back up. Um, and then of course it flushes. Um, but any subsequent flush is going to be very powerful with that jet shooting down the trap. Okay, tank is sufficiently full and the bowl is at the proper level. And that, I can see air bubbles coming out of that jet which weren't there before. So that tells me that. So this is the key to solving this problem long-term. See the little green pokey part right there on your toilet brush? Make sure you use that. You've got to get that to go into that little hole in your toilet. Because if you don't, you know what's going to happen. It's going to close.